Hey Chucks, welcome back to The Witcher 3. And I realized our sword is broken, like our silver sword. So we should try to get that fixed before we head out. And I also realized that there were quite a few sites in the first area that we did not visit. So how about we travel back to the first area and not extinguish that? Yeah, there you go, fast travel. And you see all those question marks? So these are undiscovered areas or, or points of interest. We have a bunch of those still here, like, like this one, that one, and a few monster nests that we should probably all light on fire just because. So let's travel, I guess, to the sawmill and get started with that first undiscovered location. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. All right, let's check out what is over there. And where's Roach? Where you at? There you at. Hey, Roach. Let's get going. And I hope we don't have to, oh, as I say that, I hope we don't have to find too many enemies that require our silver sword. And I say that the second we run into some enemies. But it's just a wolf, and we can take care of those with our axe, or, you know, the steel sword. Right, there were more, where's the other one? Damn, you're ugly. Ah, he actually hit me. But, I think those are all. So let's just grab whatever we can from the, the wolf. I think they usually drop meat. Or, oh, those docks. So, just dock tell them. Oh, can't take anything from the rabbit that they killed. And, yeah, just dock tell them. Unfortunately, no meat. So, we might have to go to an inn and get some. And it looks like there are... Ah, uh, we need our silver sword. Oh well. Gotta damage it a little bit more. But... I want to know what they're protecting. Oh, that was a nice dodge. Didn't really plan on doing that one, but it worked out nicely. Oh. Right, so I think if I... If I clear certain spots of the monsters, people will come back. And, and actually start working here. Man. I don't know if that gives me any benefits. Like, if I can trade with those people, I didn't see that, you know, they would be traders or have anything for me. But it never hurts. And hey, it's, it's one of the areas we wanted to check out. There's experience for us, and just in, in general, being good people. All right. Yeah, th there's really no one I can really talk to that would um, give me action information. Oh, he has stuff to sell to me. That is awesome. So let's see what he has. Uh, mostly ingredients for grafting, but there's food, and we take all of it. Then water. It's a little pricey, so I don't think we take the water. And otherwise, tons of alchemy stuff. So speaking of alchemy, let us just take a look at our alchemy skills. I want to craft some bombs that allow me to destroy the nests. Oh, no. Put that away. 
Uh, we want alchemy. So, in order to destroy those nests, <clears throat> we have to have a, I think, grape shot. A dancing star might be enough too. So let's let's just build a grape shot bomb and put that in our inventory. And then we should be able to take care of some of those uh, monster nests. And we put it in the first slot. And I guess we have to... Oh, we have to equip it. Oh no, I think I um, actually just walk up to the nest and and take care of it. And we clearly need some food. So let us you know, regenerate some of our health points because we got quite low. So let's put some decent meat into actually the second slot or the first one. All right, that should regenerate us for a bit. Let's take a look where the next undiscovered location is. So we find a new um, shopkeeper, abandoned site. So I don't know if I actually did anything with that abandoned site or if I can explore it. Got a lump of bread today. Hmm, where is it? Here. I can loot the ghouls. Hmm. Oh, I think, oh, I think what I discovered was an abandoned site, and as soon as I did slay the ghouls, uh, they came back, and actually there was a merchant that then I could interact with. And I got some raw meat, nice. I still need more uh, regeneration. And, oh, it's alive. So, but first, uh, let's see where we want to go. Uh, we certainly want to hit up the the garrison up here because there is um, a weaponsmith. Um, I don't know if we can get out here already because I don't think we can use boats yet, but we'll try. So let's go to this location next, cover these two afterwards, and then get our sword fixed, and then we'll see after that. All right, Roach, let's get out of here. Off to new adventures. Go, go. Saving that countryside here. And while we're riding, we, we try to recover some health because it's never a good idea to show up to a new fight with half health. So there's something down there. Okay, there's some wolves over there. Uh, my witcher senses to, not, to tell me. And I might actually... Yeah, I don't know if I have to take care of them. Damn, you're ugly. If I don't have to, I probably don't bother. Oh, there's a wraith. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, because I gotta prepare a bit to fight a wraith. So we need a full... We absolutely need full health. And holy crap, there's a ton of wolves. This is insane. So yeah, I think we have to take care of some of the wolves. At least. And even though it, we, we killed them really quickly, um, they still hurt us quite a bit. So we can't just like run into 20 wolves and, and hope that's going to work out well. Let's go over here. There's one coming at us. Oh, and there's a bee. Uh, a beehive. Nice. I have to, like, try to dodge their first attack more. And, alright. Where is the... The beehive? I can hear it. Just don't see it. And I found the beehive. Ah, don't walk into it. Alright, let's use our Igni. Burn it 
down. And yeah, the question is, is it already burned out? Well, let's first take a care of the loot here from the wolf or the dog. And yep, I can take the honeycombs. And I can give it to the the woman with the the spices and the herbs and everything. She appreciates me bringing her those, and that should get me some money. All right, give me that meat. One, yes. All right, to fight that lich, I need. How's it called? I need R. No, no, no. I need. I need Urden. Um, because that makes them mortal. Or like, yeah, I think that traps them in, in a mortal stance or Place something like power. that. Should draw from it. And yeah, let's give it a shot. Where are you, Wraith? I know you're here somewhere. Where'd you go? I have seen you. Well then, uh, don't mind me drawing from that place, but I still want to know where she went. So... Maybe I just have to wait for, for a certain time of the day. But I actually want to, to deal with her. Just because it, it is very interesting to fight them. And it's gonna give me experience, but yeah, mostly because it's interesting to deal with them. Um, maybe I just have to come back later. Just do that. Oh, there she is. Alright. I need this one. And... Oh, come in here. What's up? Come on. Do your rounds. Come to me. Where are you? There you are. Oh, she hurt so And that was her, I think, yes. So we get some Spectre Dust, Amethyst Dust, and Essence of a Wraith. Nice. And there is a massive amount of wolves over there, and I don't think I want to mess with those. Because they don't really pay off. If I kill 30 of them, it really doesn't get me a lot, except a little bit of meat. Hmm? What do you want? Ah. But you said something to me. Alright, uh, what's next? I want to actually... What are those guys uh, afraid of? What's going on, guys? The wolf. Come here, wolf. I'll take care of you. Yeah, I don't know what their what their problem is. But let's see if we can talk to any one of them, and uh, maybe they'll tell me. I don't know. Oh, I think we're just all right off the wolf because he was so close. But yeah, the wolf just ran away when I was approaching him. So let's uh, collect one more of those hives. Or the monies. And then... Alright, what's next? Um, nope, not the inventory. Uh, the world map is what I'm interested in. Alright, let us it's really close. Let's walk over there. Uh, we took care of that place of power. And we got an ability point, so I probably want to um, look at how I want to spend this. So I have one available. And yeah, considering I'm doing a lot with my fast attack, I might just do more fast attack. Strong attack, I rarely use my strong attack, so um, maybe I should work on that more. Resolve, Battletrons. Adrenaline points lost upon taking damage is lowered. So, um, 
I also don't use that many adrenaline abilities yet, probably. Um, so these are all my, my abilities. Alchemy, this makes my potion stronger. And these are just general improvements. Oh, okay. so that one actually would, pre would be pretty good. Adrenaline points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity. Uh, that might be a really good one. Maximum toxicity. Okay, we don't have any heavy armor yet, I think, yet. Medium armor and light armor. So I'm tempted to either take focus or just pure weapon damage. And I think I'll go with the pure weapon damage. Oh, level it up. Yes. Four out of five. And let's go on to, or on our journey to the next marker that I set and figure out what's going on over there. Um, as soon as we're done with uh, the next two markers that are on the map, I probably will go to the, the garrison and get my swords fixed. Maybe, if possible, um, look at Whoa. if I can craft something, be it armor, be it uh, Let's go. a sword. And probably I will switch back to having two swords. Because, yeah, that, that seems to be ah, it the, oh, the Witcher style. Back. And I think I found something here. <laughs> uh, this might actually be what I'm looking for. Ah, oh, man. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, Comet on a horse is really, really powerful. Like, if you think of... Ah, if you don't miss, yeah, yeah. then it is actually pretty good. If you think like the advantage you have by being on the horse, and I missed that one, but I'll hit you. And actually, like one hit those guys. Uh, probably also considering I am a higher level already because I I'm already like in the next area, so I got got a bunch of um, experience just from that. And yeah, let's get off you. The turning on the horse is actually pretty annoying. Like it, it's not as straightforward and easy as it would like it. Like when I turn around, it, as you've seen, like it turns around halfway to the middle, and then it's like, oh, you wanted to turn, let, well, let me turn into the other way, uh, which is kind of weird behavior. But I guess that just prevents the horse to be too overpowered. All right, all those nice and fancy things. Yes, give me loot all the things. Nice. So I think that is everything. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Let's grab that too. All the things to me. It's mine. Oh, nice. So I got a new crafting diagram. And a new alchemist formula. That was really worth it. Um, I think that guy's dead for good. Let's see if there's anything in this barrel. No. Alright, I think the the next the next um, undiscovered area was pre oh those explosive barrels. Gotcha. I think the next undiscovered area isn't too far away. So if that. I'm just gonna like battle the wolf with my hands. Come on, take the axe. You know, it's that tough. Alright, don't die. And there are two more that want trouble, so I shall give you trouble. Go away. There you go. Oh, there are more. Alright. So, yeah, those wolves are pretty easy to kill now. As I said, I guess because I'm already, like, in 
the the next area so this area should be pretty simple let's just collect all the things again from the wolves because the, the wolf's liver is actually uh, pretty good to regenerate health which is never a bad idea and roach don't don't get eaten by wolves where are you going what are you doing not cool can't you take care of yourself for a bit all right all right I'll, I'll take care of you now give me the meat of that hair and then ah oh, not even meat just a nice little pelt all right let's check ah. where the last uh undiscovered area is it is out here so i think i just walk there myself and see what's out there there are more rabbits all right, what do we have here? I don't see anything. There, there's a treasure. And there's a dead... Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> there's a trick! They put like that acid fog right where it dropped his chest. But I think that actually was a, a pretty decent armor. We have here, there's plus one. Oh, minus 24. Oops. Then we have here, minus 18. So a lot of stuff that we could just, we would just sell. The gauntlets are better. So let's equip those. The trousers are better. So let's equip those. The boots are a bit better. And yeah, that armor seems to be a tiny, bit better as well I think so this one is 26 minus 2 through damage and this one is 25 so yeah let's let's just take that one uh, the weapons seem to be throughout worse by a lot and I wonder do I have a repair kit no an armor repair kit so I do not have a weapons repair kit otherwise I would have fixed my silver weapon yes is that what I was uh, destined to discover here yes it looks like it so I found the hidden treasure here the guarded treasure it wasn't really guarded and now let's go to um, the garrison and get our stuff fixed maybe craft a bit and see if we can buy anything or s we'll sell all of our stuff we have uh, so much crap that we really don't need. Come on, get up there. Run, Roach. Oh, there are two um, enemies, but... I don't care right now. I just want to get out and to the garrison, sell my stuff, and craft a few nice things, and then discover the rest of, of this part of um, the northern lands I think they're called and then head back on our quest to find Siri and yeah we obviously don't want to delay that too much and even though the Emperor sent us and we're not like the best friends with him it's still Siri it's our you know a little annoyance that we trained and we still like her so we can't just let her sit there if, if there's a chance for us find her we will obviously take that chance and and reach out to her are you here to spy or hacker all right um let's first sell Show me all what you're our crap or should we dismantle it that is the question um so what is this one steel sword is pretty bad uh those swords are all pretty bad we can have crossbow bolts. So the question is, do I, do I have to read any of those? Let's see if I have any recipes so or long. like instructions uh, or blueprints that I didn't read. Oh, I can upgrade my armor. That is interesting. Select an upgrade using L and then press A. Uh, what upgrade do I have? I don't know. Um, maybe is this one? 
Oh, my boots can be equipped with this. Um, I don't know. What is this? This is a lesser glyph of igni. Upgrade. Place an empty socket on a piece of equipment to improve its traits. 2% igni sign intensity. Uh, we probably don't care too much about that, but I'll keep it in mind. Let's take a look at this. What are these? You know, if it's letter. Those are all just books and and like stuff. Alright, what we have here. Do we have any blueprints that we have to read in, in order to be able to use them? I don't think so. I think we automatically just put them in our in our alchemy or crafting um, book. So let's see, we can craft a Sidarian Gambeson that will give us more armor, but less resistance to piercing damage and less resistance to bludgeoning damage. But more to slash? No, it's the same, slashing damage. Hmm. So it's six more armor, but less resistance. This one would be really good. So this is 16 more armor and just more resistance to everything. So we might consider getting that one. So what do we need? We need uh, one more thread. So let's see if I can get that from somewhere. Thread. Uh, you cannot craft items here. All right, let's see if I, if I talk to him. Yes, yes. Are Talk you to him. To spy or uh, if I can craft something. I'd like you to craft something for me. All right. So first thread. One. All right. And now we want to build that epic armor that we have uh, a diagram of. Where did it go? Hmm. Where did that go? I just saw it. Components, bolts, chunk. Oh, oh. We actually need an armor smith, and this is a blacksmith. I got it. So, this sword is worse. So, actually, let's see if he would sell anything that. Uh, any blueprints that would be good for us. So what is a Kuvori Cutlass? How... Oh, there you go. As a steel sword used in fighting humans. Slashing damage 30. And this one has... Valen Longsword. This has 38. I think those are the only two he has. So let's see what what are what are the ones we have. This one here is 40 to 50, and it is 10 less than ours. But we were kind of saying we want to use swords and not axes, just because they're not as you know you, you don't use an axe for for all of your life, uh, a sword for all of your life, and then you're like, oh, an axe. Look, I'll take that one. I'm better with it. Let's kind of keep the realism here. I don't think there's any. There's actually a silver sword that's better than mine and have to repair mine anyway. But I cannot afford it. So, what are we gonna do? This one is a steel sword, right? So it's 30. And, uh, whoops. Well, I guess I bought it, so <laughs> let's see if we can craft it. Yeah, that is actually worse. 31 to 39. And this one is 40 to 50. Yeah, let's just try to craft this one. So what do we need? We need an iron ingot. Can we craft that ourselves? Iron ingot. We need one more iron ore. Do you have iron ore? And this is iron ore. This is perfect. We just need one. Thank you very much. And then we craft a... No, not a dark iron ingot. We want a iron ingot. And then... 
uh, build. Yeah, I mean, I think it. This one's the best one. 40 to 50 is all worse. Even though that's a master item, it is level 1. So. Yeah, let's just craft it and stick with our swords till we find a better sword. Unfortunately, we cannot um, craft a. Oh, I don't have more money to repair it further. Fortunately, we cannot craft um, anything. We cannot craft that armor that is so kick ass. And let's just equip our new sword so, long. so we know uh, what we can sell. And then sell all the things and maybe get that a little bit more powerful silver sword. That would be really nice. And all the other things um, we just give away. Yeah, there's nothing that actually has more uh, armor rating than we have right now. So let's just reset, like sell all the things, uh, repair all of our equipment spy as far as we can, and then Show me what you're battling. continue our journey. All right. Get rid of all of the things here. We do not need those anymore. We could have um, just disassembled them. Yeah, we just keep the Griffin Trophy because, hell, we don't give stuff like that away. Um, items, I just keep all of them for now, I think. Crafting items and alchemy items. And these things, I don't think I can sell. Um, pure silver. Hmm, I probably want to dismantle that. And I can't do anything with the rest. Alright, where's that one good silver sword I was looking at? This is the one I just sold to him. But that one is actually a, a better silver sword than I have. And I, well, I already started repairing mine. So I guess I just continue repairing my silver sword, which doesn't show up. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, repair this one. Oh, I think he can only maximally repair it to 67%. Interesting. Okay. That is good to know. I did not know that. And I think dismantling costs money. So let's take a look at the raw silver. Okay, it gives us a silver ingot. That is worth 50. And we can take a liver and make raw meat out of it. For one gold, yeah. Let's do that. Out of one level, we get four raw meat. Monster eyes, claws. All right, we're good on that. Great. All right. So... So long. This episode, we basically came back to, okay. I think, Valen. How's it called? Let me check. It is called, oh no, White Orchid. So we came back to White Orchid. Uh, we got all, or most of our stuff fixed. And we discovered a bunch of things over here. And there's one quest that we can take. So let's just right back here, take that quest. And keep checking out all those question marks over there for an extra portion of Monsters and Adventure. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.